Hi everyone, Gail Scott here. And I wanted to make this video today to talk specifically about confusion because there are a lot of things happening right now on our planet that are causing a lot of confusion. And one of the channelings that I received this month is from the group, The Revolutionaries. And they want to address this idea of how confusing life is for us right now. And they started off the channeling message with, it's not about the reward. And when I first heard that first line, I had absolutely no idea what they were talking about. So they go on to say the reward in life is not seeking answers to what confuses you. The reward in life is to be in the confusion. Well, when I heard that, as someone who's gone through a lot of confusion in my life already, I can under, kind of understand where they're coming from in that you know, life is a journey, life is an experience, um, it is what we make it. And sometimes some of the things that happen to us are just downright confusing. We really don't know why they're happening. And I've said this before in some of my videos, it's, it's not until we get past the confusion and we can look back that we can really see what was going on and why things were happening for us. So they are admitting and agreeing with us that there are many things going on right now that are creating a lot of confusion because, as I've said before, we are in an evolution. You might want to call it a revolution, but it is an evolving state. We are in the midst of massive change on our planet and as a species, as a community, as a collective. And so we know we're all going through a lot of ups and downs as we transit through this very, very tumultuous time. So they've said, how can you best navigate this shifting and changing and morphing that's really happening for us all right now? Because we are actually going through an experience that is something we have never gone through before. We have never gone through this kind of experience before. And because we've never gone through this before, we have absolutely no chance of being able to recognize what's coming. And so if we had experienced something like this before, you know that in your life, once you've gone through something once, you're much better equipped to go through it a second time. Well, we don't have that luxury right now. We've never upgraded our planet's consciousness before, and we have never gone from one dimension to another in the same state, in the same place. So they've said, because there are actual changes happening in our planet, and these changes are shifting and creating this transformation. And they're saying that before we went, we, we went into this particular change, we had only had kind of changes in matter before, not changes in energy and dimension in the way that we are doing that right now. So we can't be expected to understand what's going on. And it's very difficult to define the end goal, which takes me back to the first comment about it's not about the reward, because we as humans are very focused on what's the outcome, what's going to happen, what will happen when we get to the end. Well, they said, hmm, it's very difficult to tell you what's going to happen at the end. Um, first of all, because there is no end transformation is not an end it's often a new beginning so you could say the end might be the old way and the beginning is the new way and that's kind of the reward however we're not there yet so they gave me this metaphor they said so here you are in this place that you're in let's imagine that you're on a train 
and the train is navigating the terrain of our planet. And as we're coming along the side of a mountain, there's a tunnel ahead. And inside the tunnel, it is very dark. But as we go into this tunnel on this train, everything starts to slow down. And this is a tunnel you've never been in before. And as you go through this tunnel, the tunnel is moving and morphing and undulating and it's creating experiences for you as a passenger on this train that you've never had before. So you have no idea what the next part of the journey is going to look like or what it's going to be like when you come out of the end of the tunnel. This is the experience that we are currently having on planet Earth. And because we are shifting into a new vibrational level, we cannot possibly know what it's going to be like, either now or in the future. So we've been hearing this message for quite a long time now. But how can we stay grounded and kind of go with the flow as the planet and our environment changes and shifts because we're still in the tunnel. It's still very unstable. We still don't know what's going to happen. Well, this group called the Revolutionaries, um, they are a group that help uh, species going through revolution and changes and evolution of species. And they've said, we want to reassure you that your planet is solid, even though you are experiencing some extremely volatile situations. And that we as individuals, we can stay calm and grounded and knowledgeable about what we know to be true in this moment. And we can also be open. They've said the secret to really navigating this is to be open to the changes that are coming and to go with the flow. Uh, they've also said that as we navigate these changes and shifts, well, some people might decide to abandon ship. Um, they said get off the train or go in a corner and hide and that there's actually many ways that each of us can experience these radical shifts that are happening. And it, depending on how we see things, because if we look outside of ourselves, we might think that everything was falling apart. And that may well be the case, because as with transformation, things do fall apart, but often things are not always as they seem because it's only in the falling apart that the rebuild can begin and that that rebuild would become the main focus, the reward perhaps in a sense. So then they explain that as we exit this tunnel, as we get out from underneath all of this change, and I have no idea when that is going to happen, but what we are going to notice is that our planet will still be here. The sun will still be shining. Uh, our planet will in fact be thriving and we will have still beautiful plants and the animals will still be here and they will be adjusting and continuing to find their homes and you know, make their nests and do what animals do. Now, the question is in the midst of all of this turmoil, can you do the same thing? Can you begin to see that this journey on our earth, it's not about the reward. It's not about reaching anywhere. It's about being here in the moment and experiencing what we're going through fully, consciously, and actually even paying attention to detail because we're being shown the detail as this proverbial train that we're on goes through the trunk tunnel, as it slows down and allows us to fully experience the turbulence of these changes, we actually get to see in every moment everything that has been happening and is happening. 
So this is a gift, a gift for us. Sometimes we think that we need to push on. We need to get further on. We need to get to the end, so to speak. We need to, you know, finish it all. Maybe not so much. Maybe we need to just really, really recognize and acknowledge what is actually going on. And yes, it might be uncomfortable. And yes, there might be some people who decide to exit stage left. And yes, you might have to make some changes. But that's the way transformation works. That's the way we change. We have to change. We cannot keep doing what we've been doing before. That is the definition of insanity. And so when we come out of this, we're going to find that there are many, many things that need to be rebuilt. And we are going to have the capability to do that because we are going to be given the opportunity to be more creative, to be more cohesive, to co-create, to see ourselves from an energy of unity, of oneness, because we're all in this together. Yes, it might not appear that way, it might appear that there's an, a them and us environment right now. But in order for us to come together more, we have to see that we have been separate. And we have to want to be together. And we have to want to create something better. And that's what we will be given the opportunity to do once we have navigated all of this turmoil and all of the things that are being revealed to us. And as we go through this tunnel of darkness, more and more and more is going to be revealed to us about what's really going on. And in that situation, we get to make new choices. We get to make new decisions. We get to take new action. We get to really discover what is important to us, what really matters. And we often don't get the opportunity to do that when we're moving so fast that we can't really see what's happening. So this is kind of the reason why things have been pointed out to us in such clear detail. So yes, we're in a dark place. But this is not an insurmountable mountain that we get to climb. It's not. We're just going through a tunnel that is going to get us to the end. And even though we don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, the light's there. The light is definitely there. If you look at it from a spiritual perspective, you could say, oh, the light has won. But the light is there and we are moving towards it. We have to get out of the dark. We have to open our eyes. We have to begin to look around and see. And only then will we be able to make new choices. So what are you going to do right now in the meantime while you are in this tunnel? Allow. Allow yourself to feel and be with all of the emotions and experiences that you are having right now as we are going through this, is it easy? No. So you'll need to rest more. You'll need to take care of yourself more. You'll need to really understand who you are, what you stand for, what's important to you. You do what you can that feels right for you. If you feel that you want to be a warrior and make changes happen, that's for you to do. If you feel that being with your family and nurturing your emotional state and your relationships is something that this is giving you the opportunity to do, go for that. If you feel that as an employer or an employee, 
improving the workplace, building respect, giving experiences so people can feel safe, if that's what's important to you, then that's what you work on. Just recognize that as you are doing all that, you are making changes. You are creating shifts. You are helping the transformation that is coming. Oh, and there's more. There's still a lot more to come. It's dark. It's, it's going to get darker. But it's really about you creating light for yourself. How do you do that? Maybe you're going to spend more time in nature. Maybe you're going to go back to basics, make life more simpler. Maybe you work the land. Maybe you just enjoy your family. You know, there's the reward of just feeling alive, feeling alive, feeling nurtured, feeling healthy, feeling loved, feeling like you belong. And recognizing that as we're all going through this, we're all evolving and we need to be supported by each other and we need to love one another. And we need to recognize that every single one of us is playing a part in this change journey that we're going through. So this is tough, people, but you can do it. You got to figure out what, what works for you and do that. And it might not work for your neighbor or your other family member or the people that you work with. But we have to really begin to understand how we can feel good, even in the midst of all of this that's going on, knowing that we are fully supported through the universe, and every message that I bring ends with that. We love you. We support you. We are on this journey with you. And even if you don't believe it, take it from me that this is what's happening. So I hope that this has given you a little bit of hope, a little light at the end of the tunnel. And in the meantime, until my next message, I wish you nothing but love, and I thank you so much for watching again.